Right, so we've done the on-deck tour. Now I'd like to show you down below because this boat is just packed and brimming with features which make life at sea bearable and comfortable. Very important. When you're offshore sailing two-handed, you need a good rest and you need good food. That's one thing we did. All the other boats, the crews were getting tired. They weren't eating properly. They were staying up all night. Not on Fast Track 7. We slept and we slept and we slept and we had chili every night to sustain us. And what have we just had for lunch? Chili, of course, using up our supplies. Okay. One other feature, this is a remote control. I can take this, it's wireless operated. I can change the course of the boat. I can see all the instrumentation, how fast we're going, where the wind's coming from. Great bit of kit. Uh, aside from the director here, do you think Nigel's noticed this warship coming up ahead of us doing 40 knots? Anyway, Oops. carry on with the tour, Nigel. <laughs> Anyway, would you like to come down below? Yes, thank you. So I'm sorry she's not clean and tidy, but this is a racing yacht after all. You see all the sails are stacked up on the weather side. Uh, on the floor down here, we have our anchor kits. We did lots of anchoring in the last leg of the race, so it's still all out. We haven't put it away yet. Oh. Aside from editor, look at Nigel's elephantitis. Uh, no, this is my, my broken ankle, yeah, the which has um, okay. got to be repaired. Okay. Uh, behind David over here, we have David's cabin. <coughs> Fortunately, we can't catch his smells on video, but um, there you go. You see the storage compartments along the side here. Very simple idea, lightweight, very effective. Nice double half cabin. And we even have canvas lightweight doors which sip up and if you like to if the cameraman can zoom around to the galley department and and here we have the galley this is where the fast track chili is made every night Nigel in his attractive attire, by the way. The chopping board comes out, the red onions come out, the beans come out, the stag dynamite chili con carne comes out, all goes into a pot, and bingo. We have our staple diets. We have a cool box. Yeah, that's minging a bit, but uh, we'll sort that out tomorrow. Two burner cooker. And that is where the fast track chili is created. Now over here, we have the navigatorium. My favorite part of the boat. I spend many an hour here. Show us how you sit, Nigel. No, not the sleeping mode, the awake mode. That's it, yeah, brilliant. This is, this is the best nav station you can have on a small boat like this. We have a GPS chart plotter shows us where we are and gives us all kind of information. And I think the cameraman ought to go and sheet in the spinnaker. Keep going, keep showing people. And here we have the uh, VHF radio, iPod CD player, very important. Um, storage for charts. Charging leads for Apple iPhones and iPads. Uh, this little gizmo collects weather information which we can download onto a PC. Right, David, if you'd like to take everybody forward, we show them the uh, business end of the boat. And here we are, this is the front of the boat. We have a, a sink unit, full of cells again because it is a racing boat, and we have a crash bulkhead at the front. So that's a watertight bulkhead. If we have a collision, it gives us a chance of not sinking the boat. And here we have our um, uh -huh. yes. throne. Yes, our throne, complete with custom grab handle and um, a special device to keep the loo roll dry. So, I mean, really, that's about it, folks. That's the guided tour of Fast Track 7. This has been our home for the last three weeks. We came second in the race, only 15 minutes off winning overall. It was great to have you with us. See you.